So 2326 is what I have on my 70 hour clock right now and no recaps coming back for three nights. Yeah, so I'll get a picture of uh, my uh, my pages and uh, I'll kind of explain how that works because sometimes you guys might try and want to get some insight into that. Uh, maybe you don't have a CDL but you're wanting to get one or maybe you have one but you use a different system than the one we use. We use uh, Qualcomm or uh, uh, Omnitrax. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get a picture of my status page, my summary page, and my eight day page. All three of those are important to pay attention to. So. Okay, so I can I can use that information to kind of explain how that works a little bit here. But let me get my uh, load information written down first. That way I am prepared and can give the, the guard the information that they need when I get up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with uh, the status page. You see, uh, I have in the highlighted area where it shows the last 34 hour reset. It was done at 0020 Central Time on uh, August 7th. Okay, that's where the important information is for me on that page, uh, as far as my recaps are concerned. Now, uh, the two uh, items right below it, hours to be gained and hours gained in two days, those can be useful. But as you see here on my case, I got zero on both of those. So now raises the question: Okay, when am I? Uh, when do I get recaps back to work with? Uh, because it's more than two days out, and 23 hours is uh, barely going to get me two full shifts, and then uh, like a, a piss end shift after that or something. If you will. Um, all right. So moving on from that, though. Uh, we're going to keep that 8.07 in mind. Now go to the summary page here and you're going to see my 70 hour clock. Uh, that has 23.26 left on it. 23 hours, 26 minutes. We can't move forward real quick because the line is moving. Okay, so the 2326, it's uh, it's not too, it's not really useful for my recaps themselves, but I need to know how many hours I have available to uh, deliver a load. And so, because uh, I know I need to know what I already have on my 70, and then when I get recaps back, and what am I getting back when I do start getting them, and in what sequence and all that. So. This is where this comes into play, all right? So I'm gonna go to the eight day page now. And you see from going, I'm going from the bottom to the top on the left side on the date column, you got 804 at the bottom, and then uh, 85 and then so on up until today's date, the 11th. All right, so 807 was the date of my last reset. And uh, you see how there's, uh, where 807 is on there, it's the fourth one from the bottom. Okay, so 8.07 will be uh, whatever's on that line is the first day that I get recaps back. And then on the on-duty section there where it says 10.10, 10, 10 hours, 10 minutes, that's when I first start getting recaps back. And that's the amount of the first recap that I'll be getting back. Um, but, did you see you got 8.4 through 8.6 uh, prior to the 7th. So it means I got three nights of, uh, uh, three midnights to go through. I have no recaps at all before I get anything back. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it'll be. Yeah, because the reset wasn't done until the morning of the 7th, a couple hours after midnight. So, I believe though, yeah, the 10 10 recaps, yeah, even if it was the 6th, there's nothing to get back there. So, um, should be uh, three nights of no recaps coming back. So tonight, going from the 11th into the 12th, I get nothing. 12th into 13th, I get nothing. And 13th into 14th, I get nothing. And the load is due on the 14th. So that means the 23, 26 that I already have on my clock is all I'm going to have to work with to get this load delivered to Ochilada. Um, 
Now here's the problem. How many how many hours of uh, those hours do I need? Okay, so good way to figure that out. I need to know how far my distance is. Uh, my distance from here to Ochilada is 1,430. Or 1430. And uh, I always round up to the nearest 10 miles. So uh, it's actually every 100 miles my truck travels one extra mile, or, uh, or it indicates one extra mile over what I really did do. So uh, when, I, when I did literal an actual 100 miles with this truck, it indicates 101. So in reality, uh, 1430 mile route, I'm really going to indicate about 14 more miles on top of uh, what I'm actually, uh, what my literal miles are. And then I still got extra miles that I'm going to run uh, getting off the freeway for truck stops or getting back on for, you know, whatever it might be for fuel or 10 hour breaks or whatever. It's all going to factor in. So just for a roundabout, I rounded up to 1440. Now my truck is governed at 70 miles an hour, and what I always recommend you do if you're, uh, it doesn't matter what your truck's governed at, or if not at all. Um, I recommend you go by what speed you're going to run at. Now even if you're governed, maybe you might like to run, you may, maybe you might run a little bit slower than your governed speed. I know a good number of people who run slower than their governed speed. Okay, either way, just take your, whatever that speed is that you're going to run, and subtract 10 from it. Once you have that, divide your distance by that number. So in my case, I'm going to run 70 miles an hour. And, uh, okay, 70 miles an hour means I'm going to divide by 60. So 40, uh, 1440 divided by 60, or I can just uh, truncate that, 144 divided by 6, I don't need the zeros on there. That'll come right out to uh, 24, right on the, uh, I think right on the money. And add in, I got California involved, I can't run 70 miles an hour through this state. I'm going to lose at least half an hour right there alone, so... And then if my load is ready to go right away, or if I get out of here at any kind of reasonable time, I'm going to have the Cajon Crawl to do as well. And the Cajon Crawl is going to take, uh, eat up at least an extra half hour off my clock and more. So, in reality, I'm probably going to need more like 25 hours to get uh, uh, on duty time to get to uh, Ochilada. And then uh, I could even add in got construction delays in Flagstaff that we've been dealing with lately and then also construction delays over in Jamestown, New Mexico that can also slow me down so I, I, I wouldn't even that might even be reasonable to expect that I could need like 25 and a half 26 hours because of those expected delays in which case it might even be worthwhile to just take I-10 across but Knowing that no matter what, I don't have the hours needed to do this route on time. Um, and knowing that our heavy freight line is I-40, uh, my plan is going to be just go up to I-40 regardless, get it out there somewhere. Uh, I already sent a message asking about possibly dropping in the Oklahoma City yard and then maybe have someone else drop something there going west that I can take back to California with me. So. Uh, 